this is the third interview out of five that we were able to capture at the Kaishan Distributor Conference in Loxley, Alabama, a couple weeks back. Had an opportunity to speak with Robert Casey from Texas Compression Services, another person with many decades of experience in the industrial air compressor industry. Asked him about uh, his experience with Kaishan in comparison with other compressor manufacturers, so I hope you enjoy. All right, so we're here with Robert Casey. Robert, what, what's the name of your company? Te Texas Compression Services. And are you the president of the no, company? No, I'm actually the general manager. General manager of the company. So how did you get involved in this compressor industry? Well, I've been in the compressor industry probably 32 years now. I started off as a technician and kind of just migrated through the ranks, traveled abroad, service manager eventually at some point in time, GM, and then worked through private distribution, through manufacturers as a manufacturer rep and so forth so here i am today so <laughs> and it's a crazy industry it is yeah, once you get in you can't get out of it you know first first day uh first day that i started in this industry 16 years ago i was a service tech just like you're saying and uh the guy i was training with told me that once you get into this industry you never get out uh, here we are talking. It's funny how you say that because I, I've hired salespeople from uh, fertilizer industries and made them compressor, you know, compressor salespeople. Yeah. And ten years later, of course, they don't work for me, but they're still in the industry. Yeah. And so it's it, like I said, I've never seen somebody come in and get out or go, to, you know, somewhere else as far as yeah, yeah. you know, generator sales or forklift sales. They get in, they get, they get sucked into this, can't get out. They so. can't get out of it. So, what are some of the manufacturers? from when you started in this industry that you've dealt with from start to, to now? Originally when I started this, so I, I started with a, a, with a Copco distributor, okay. was there for 10 plus years, and then left, went to work for a Comp Air distributor, Comp Air Leroy distributor, yep. and then went to work for Kaiser, managing a branch for them in Houston. And then left there, went to work for Gardner Denver, and then GD to where I'm at today. Okay, beautiful. So. So you, you've seen a pretty wide array, yeah. uh, a range of manufacturers in, in the industry. I have, I have. So you've seen the good, you've seen the bad. Uh, in comparison to all your experience, um, what is your experience with Kaishan in comparison? I, I'm, I'm surprised at the quality of the product. Um, and of course, in my role, we've, had, we've been approached by almost every manufacturer there is. Of course, we started off as a Garden Denver distributor but I've had Bauer, Sauer, Hertz, Coair. Everybody has come yeah. to us because they they, they kind of know we're a player in, in the Houston Gulf Coast you know market. So, um, but when Kaishan first or Kaishan first came to us, I mean I was impressed. They sent a couple of machines to us to put our hands on. Demo. Impressed with yeah demo. Yeah, you know, it's very impressive with quality. And of course, you know I, I've seen some other low price machines, manufacturing machines, and the quality just doesn't hold up to what these guys make. I mean, there's there's always going to be some, you know, improvements, and of course, with being new on the market like that, but they, they kind of, they, they do take your interest, and they build upon that to make improvements. Which is huge in comparison to companies that... Well, like Gardner Denver, I mean, it's just no comparison. Right, so we, uh, my company, Compressed Air Equipment, we were an Atlas Copco distributor for almost eight years. Same thing, uh, just the, the, the quality of the product that they advertise is just not the reality of what you're getting into. Um, and uh, it, if the end user truly knew what they were buying into, they I don't think they would ever venture into it. And, and, and fortunately for those guys, the, the end user doesn't know much. They're not educated enough. Yeah. And, and that's been one of the things I've always tried to do is educate customers on compressed air consumption and so forth. You know, going through compressed air challenge one and two, being an air master, it, it's, you, you kind of feel your duty to educate people about compressed air. You don't always get through to a lot of people, but you try. And at the end of the day, you, you, you're not always selling a compressor sometimes. You're maybe selling some ancillary equipment to actually help them along through the you know, production or, or efficiency standpoint. But um, yeah, it, it's, like I said, it's, I think the, the the general public can use more education. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, I mean, I'm so happy that a company like Kaishan came along because 
the industry really needs, for distributors, really needs a breath of fresh air. Yes, they do. I, I don't think there's any distributor in the country, whether they're a distributor for, you know, Solar, Kayser, Copco, Quince, any of them. I, I, it, you could go to any of them, and they'd probably tell you the same thing, that they're not happy. Yeah, they're not. I mean, you can talk to a lot of guys at this meeting, yeah. and you know they've all, like yourself, they've all come from another distributor. And they've all seen the, let's say, the, the, the business management kind of how they, well, let's say how they go to market, let's say. And it's, and it's like I tell everybody here, I'm not in business. I'm not in the Garden of Denver business. I'm not in the Kaiser business. You're in the your I'm business. I'm in the air compression business. I'm in yeah. the Texas compression business. Correct. You know, so yeah. I've got 20 something people I'm responsible for. Yeah, no, you know, absolutely. And I, and I want to grow my market, I want to grow my market share, I want to employ more people. So I, I can't do that with, with another manufacturer dictating on what I'm supposed to do. And they want to do that pretty harshly. Yes. But anyway, Robert, thank you. Appreciate the time. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy yourself.